Alright folks, so what we have here is a 4-pack of E-Fest IMR batteries. These are 18650, and uh, they're 2500 MA or MAH. And I did a video a little bit earlier, and uh, you can scroll down and see that if you want, uh, or it'll be in my battery playlist. And um, I was really impressed with the 3000 MAH batteries that I got, so I went ahead and I picked these up, and I wanted to do some capacity testing. Now, before I do that, I do want to encourage everybody to go get themselves a nice cold beverage. Come on back, we'll open these up and we'll get started. Thanks everybody. Alright, so hopefully everybody made it back. When manufacturers make these kind of batteries, what they do is they make a rather large batch of a whole bunch of batteries. And then, when they come off the assembly line, what they do is they go through a bunch of tests. Um, and those tests are for continuous discharge rate and capacity. And then each battery gets a particular grading. Once they get these gradings, they go into designated batches. And then once they're in these batches, the batteries are sold off to people like EFEST or Olight. And they buy these batteries based off of their power, their discharge rate, and their quality. And then they rewrap them with their own brand. Sometimes they'll add circuit protection, sometimes they won't. And then they'll go ahead and sell them as their brand or their label of battery. Now, companies like EFAST, Olight, Eagle Tac, they buy quality batteries. Other companies like Ultrafire or Tangs Fire will buy shit batteries. Um, so it's important that you buy batteries from, you know, reputable uh, dealers or, or resellers. And when you buy these batteries, what's important to take note of is, is that the packaging that they come in is consistent with, uh, with that particular brand or that product line. Because uh, you want to make sure that you don't get fake batteries. And I know that that sounds crazy, but uh, the, the 18650 market is uh, peppered with counterfeit battery producers out there. So these batteries look pretty good. And then a lot of these come with these anti-counterfeit services where you scratch these off. Let me pull up here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit for you. And you, you go ahead and you scratch that off, and then you can go to the website for eFest, and you type in a code there, and, it, and it's a one-time use code, and it'll come back and tell you if your battery's legit or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to open all these batteries up, and I like to open them up on camera, and then put them in the tester um, on camera. We're going to do a capacity test, and we're going to use my Fox Novo digital charger, Model 4S, which has been uh, seen in a bunch, of, a bunch of my videos doing this particular type of a capacity test. Alright, so we're open. Here is the charger. We're going to load these up and then what we're going to do is we're going to do um, a capacity test at one amp. So we're going to we're going to top these batteries off. We're going to see what they shipped at. They probably shipped at around 3.6, 3.7 volts. Uh, we're going to top them off. They'll probably go to 4.2 and then uh, it'll drain them completely and then fill them back up and then we'll go ahead and get a capacity rating for each one of these batteries. So let me go ahead and zoom in on this. Is that, gonna, is that coming in there? So what we do is we set this for one amp, and then we hold this in, and it sets it for capacity, which you can see right there. It's a great charger. I love it. Let me zoom out so we get some color back in here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to let this run. We're going to come back in a little bit. This test will probably take somewhere around six to eight hours. So uh, see you tomorrow morning. All right, folks, and we're back. So let's take a look and see how these batteries did. So they all charged up to 4.21 or 4.2 volts, which is great. And then now we got 2646, 2657, 2675, and 2708. So all of these batteries tested beyond their advertised capacity, which is a good thing. And it's also consistent with the other EFES batteries that I did the last video on, um, the last EFES video on. So based off of that, I'm going to continue to to, uh, to use these batteries. Uh, the other ones are performing well now that they're in uh, general use, and uh, I'm expecting the same thing for these. So go ahead and pick some up if you need some IMR 18650 batteries. Thanks, everybody.